Evening Darren, thanks for uh, doing this uh, sort of um, pre-season sort of like uh, interview with us. No worries mate, any time. Uh, what's your thoughts, uh, how the pre-season and that went? Yeah, it was okay, it's as okay as pre-season can be. I'd, I'd love to not have to do one, if, I, if I'm honest with you, because it, it can get long and tedious, so it's it's hard to keep keep the players fresh and energised and, and ready to go, because there's nothing to play for. Um, but it, it's now it's time where all that hard work comes to fruition. So, so fingers crossed now we can get a nice run of games going uh, and, and get playing and really get up to, up to full speed, because I don't think many teams go into into the first game of the season at full speed. Um, I think it does take sometimes a bit more time to, to get going. Are you happy with the squad you put together? Delighted. Absolutely delighted with the squad. Uh, it's a shame to lose one this week. So I'm sure it'll be announced probably tonight. It might be announced by the time this goes out that, that, that got an unbelievable offer so he had, to, he had to move on. People will probably guess or know who that is by now. Um, so it's a real shame to, to lose them. But, um, but we're, we're in a much better position than I ever imagined us to be in. Uh, we've recruited a level of player that I wasn't sure was possible at the end of last year when we had the, the talk at the end of the season and he used to ask me about players incoming, I wasn't sure. And, and that was the honest answer. I didn't know what, what kind of type of player we could attract and we've managed to put together a really, really good squad of young, hungry footballers that are, that are ready to work hard and have a real good go. How do you think this league going to play at this season like? Because there's a lot of strong teams in there right now. It's looking the toughest it's ever been. Uh, teams coming up with, with good resources that are just going to add to it. Um, good teams coming down as well. It's going to be really, really tough and, and it's going to be down to, to, to the group of players over your left shoulder there to really work hard every single session uh, to see what we can achieve this year. What sort of points, Tally, are you could be looking for this year? Like We got our 40 points last year, yeah. so... 100, about 100 points will do, I think, Andrew, if we can get to that without a good season. Uh, now, really, so we just want to do better. Uh, for me, it's about tangible increases, and if we can go and get 45, 50, good season. Uh, but for me, it's just about, about keeping this club in the division. We know what we are, we know what our resources allow us to be, uh, and it's down to us to, to try and achieve those goals that we've set internally uh, between myself and the, and the club and between me and the players. Um, so it's about trying to deliver that for the club. Any news on uh, Ben Allen and... Um... Ben's training, so uh, I think Saturday might come around just a little bit too soon for him, if I'm being honest. Uh, Craig Ferguson is still, still a long way away. Uh, he's not even back in doing rehab yet, he's still, still, uh, still out. Um, we've had a couple more to add to that list, um, but I don't want to say too much because it's not. We're not sure is the honest answer on whether they'll be around uh, and available for this weekend. I think it might come a little bit too soon for them, um, but, but we're we're good to go. Uh, a couple of boys that haven't been announced yet that, um, that have come in, so we're we're good to go. Uh, what, what's your thoughts on the reserve team or um, Lee Connor set up and that? Yeah, and there's, there's five of them training here tonight, and two of them have already played for us in pre-season, so it's brilliant to have. Uh, it's brilliant so for the players coming back from injury. Uh, Kai Brown will be playing for them a lot because he's pulling faces over your shoulder. Um, so no, it's brilliant to have because it allows us to, to get players minutes and for people coming back from injury to play and, and get really up to speed rather than throwing them in the deep end. So it's good to have, really good to have and they've got a good good young group of players there that we can, we can tap into for, for going forward. What's your thoughts on lower staff? Because they're no mugs either, are they? They got to play off some finals, didn't they? We had two great games from last year, 3-2 both times. Um, so we know we know what they're about. They've got a great manager, a great squad of players. So it's going to be down to us to uh, to really to really put a good good shift in, a good performance, and, uh, and see if we can get a positive result. But now they're, they're going to be a good side. There, they're going to be uh, similar to what they were last year in terms of league position. I have no doubt about that. So it's a tough one for us opening day, but um, there's no easy games in this league. So it doesn't matter who you have, when you've got them, you've just got to play the cards that you dealt and, uh, and crack on. But but we're looking forward to it, uh, anticip uh, eagerly anticipating it and uh, looking forward to getting that whistle run so we can get going. Cheers, Darren. Top man, Andrew, anytime, mate.